Hey guys, John here from Water Bear Cycles. I'm gonna give you a quick troubleshooting tip with the DI2 system. Um, we're gonna be focusing on the E-Tube system, which is the more current generation style of um, the way the wiring connects into the junction boxes. So of course we sell, we sell a lot of pre-owned bikes and we ship them all over the country. And oftentimes uh, when people get the bikes, uh, they have to reattach the E2 wires to the junction box because we have to disconnect them for shipping. And I often will get emails or phone calls saying that they received the bike and the DI2 system's not working. And the reason being is usually very, very simple. Um, DI2 is a bomb-proof system. Um, I mean, unless you tear these wires, they, they rarely ever fail. The system rarely ever fails. Um, what we find is if you look here, so the junction box has, has basically three ports that these E2 wires are going to fit into. Now this, this particular bike has two sets of shifters on the front because it's a triathlon bike. I'm disconnecting them here. So when you, when you get the, the bike, these are going to be disconnected and you can see these, these two wires here that, uh, are actually just going to plug into this junction box here. Um, the most common problem that we find is people will get the, the bike um, and then they'll go to plug them in. And I'll remind you that the wires can go into any hole, so they don't have to be in any specific hole. They'll push the wire in and then they'll, they'll push all of them in. And you can kind of feel uh, an initial engagement that will hold the wire in place but that's not enough to engage the wire into the junction box to make the system work. So what you have to listen for and feel for is what I call the audible snap. So I don't know if you can hear it on the, on the, uh, the video here, but when you go to push these in, hear that click? You actually have to feel them snap in place. And you actually have to push pretty hard. I mean, there's, there's dents in my fingers now. So a lot of people will engage these and then they don't push hard enough. Or actually after they get the bottom row in, the top row, they, they can't get their fingers in there good enough to give it a good push. So they just leave it kind of in there soft and then it doesn't work. It's like this one's really tough. And there's actually a tool for it if you can't, if you can't get in there. Shimano makes this tool which actually goes around the, the plug and then allows you to push it and pop it into place. So this is a this is a helpful tool to have as well. So that's usually what we find where DI2 is not working is that you're just not engaging the E2 wires into the ports. And this goes for not just the, the junction box here, but anywhere where the E2 wire is gonna plug into. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a port and a wire on the, on the derailleurs, front and rear, there's one in the battery. We see that in the battery a lot too. People will put the, the seat post battery plug in and then they don't snap it in hard enough and you don't get any, you know, the system actually, everything has to be a complete circuit. You can't have one wire detached and, you know, only certain things work. So that's really it. I mean, if you, if you feel that snap with your fingers and you can hear that snap, then usually you're, you're in and then that's what will activate the system and make the DI2 system work properly. Thanks.